At the conclusion of this weekend's final Saturday night takeaway, Ant and Deck gulped back tears as they bid each other an emotional goodbye. Both 48-year-olds gave a moving address thanking fans at home as they brought the 22-year-old ITV series to an end. They then serenaded the crowd with a song. It was acknowledged by Ant and Deck that they never, in their wildest dreams, thought the program would become that successful and run for 20 years. It's been an honor and a privilege to have made the show and been part of your Saturday nights for 22 years, Ant said to the audience. When we started this back in 2002, we both felt we'd be lucky if we got to do this for maybe a couple of years, Deck continued with emotion, thus, the events that have transpired have exceeded our expectations beyond measure. We have genuinely enjoyed every minute of creating this concert. Deck stated, but there's one thing we've never ever forgotten when making this show, with tears in his eyes. Given that this is your show rather than ours, we would like to sincerely thank you, our amazing audience. I'm grateful. Friend Ant intervened to save him, placing a hand on his shoulder and launching into a montage of the most iconic scenes from the show. Danny Jones and Tom Fletcher of McFly then joined the hosts on stage to perform a specially reworked version of the band's smash song All About You. At home, viewers were just as moved, with one remarking on X slash Twitter, and the nation is crying. We are so grateful to Ed and Tandek for providing us with entertainment for 20 years. How sad a day it is for TV. I'm grateful for 22 years of the greatest, Ant and December. After all these years, going to miss Edit Takeaway and at Antandek made me cry. Well done, boys. It's really missing already. To the surprise of many fans throughout the country, Ant and Deck announced last year that they would be leaving Saturday Night Takeaway before the 20th season. The two will maintain their exclusive partnership with ITV, hosting popular programs like Britain's Got Talent, Limitless Win, and I'm a Celebrity. Get Me Out of Here, which are all aired on ITV1 and ITVX. Even though the program was emotional, it was still full of the typical crazy craziness, with Ant hurting himself after tagging Stephen Mulhern on live television. The 47-year-old comedian Stephen made a surprise appearance on the show for its final episode prior to its ITV break, having been ill with an unidentified ailment the previous week. Stephen, a television presenter, showed up in the studio looking like a huge gold trophy in fine form. An action-packed penalty shootout between co-host Ant and Declan was officiated by magician Stephen. Ben Foster, a 41-year-old retired football player who played for Wrexham till last year, scored the goal. We've had a great time, honestly, Stephen Ant remarked after losing. Deck remarked, Stephen, I really appreciate everything you brought. You've been an incredible asset, without you, we couldn't have succeeded. After that, Ant threw Stephen to the ground and smashed him into the ground while wearing his gold trophy outfit. Ant was spotted returning to the studio after the intermission and wiping at his cheek with a tissue. Ant revealed that he had injured his face while taking down Stephen when Deck questioned him about what had transpired. Fans noticed a significant change for the supersized swan song and earlier acknowledged their feeling, emotional and nostalgic, just seconds after the show's final episode started. The two-hour special began with a montage of the different introductions that have featured during the show's existence, paying tribute to the iconic opening titles. Numerous followers took note of the change and remarked that it had already brought them to tears. Hashtag Saturday Night Takeaway amazed by the mashup of all the titles over the years, love that opening, was one of the posts on X. We begin with a montage of every Saturday Night Takeaway opening title ever. All the opening titles from across the years, OMG obsessed with the 20-year mashup of the titles, was a sentimental and nostalgic statement. Alright. Edit Takeaway has literally just started and it done a freaking montage or whatever you call it the opening credits from over the years, was always the finest opening title. The opening credits of Hashtag Saturday Night Takeaway made me feel a little emotional after just one minute. As they threw cake at the hosts, Holly Willoughby and Rylan Clark also created mayhem. As part of the iconic I'm a Celebrity, 
Get out of my ear. Hoax segment, the well-known celebrities paid a visit with the intention of exacting revenge on Ant and December. Celebrities have been forced to say and do absurd things in public while being given instructions by Ant and Deck through an earpiece, putting them in both awkward and humorous situations over the years. But in the show's last episode, the roles were reversed, with the celebs giving hosts Ant and Deck advice while they ate dinner at a restaurant with unwary patrons. Rylan took a seat next to a microphone and declared, we're going to give it to them, giving Holly a high five as he got ready to address the Geordie pair over their earpieces. To the chagrin of the diners next to him, television host Rylan instructed Ant to brush his teeth with a toothbrush before spewing toothpaste on the ground. In another scene, Ant twirled a handkerchief around Deck's head and instructed him to stand up and yell, we want grub and we want it now. Additionally, they requested that the server chop their food for them, citing their status as celebrities who typically received help with this task. Apart from Holly and Rylan, Ant and Deck received instructions from Simon Cowell, Alison Hammond, Odie Mabuse, Ollie Merce, Gino DeCampo, and Davina McCall. The singer of Girls Aloud, Cheryl, was later spotted celebrating Saturday Night Takeaway's 20th season by taking two cakes into the eatery. They never got to enjoy the cakes, though, since Holly and Rylan hurled lumps at them and Cheryl shoved the hosts' heads in them, covering all the stars with sponge, Aunt clarified that nobody in the restaurant was aware that it was a practical joke. It was disgusting. Being around by ignorant and uninformed individuals, nobody in the restaurant, not even the employees. You simply had the annoying feeling of being a famous person in a restaurant. Following an unintentional swearing by a contestant during a humorous portion, the show took an even more wild turn. Ring My Bell, where participants' neighbors had to race to ring their doorbell in an attempt to win 500 pounds, was one of the show's most well-liked portions. However, when the task was finished, it became clear that the neighbors had to finish a second task in order to win cash and a takeaway getaway for both themselves and the competitors who were present in the studio. The Stevenage competitor, tasked with retrieving a wheelie bin, a duvet, and a hat, hurried back to the front door with the goods. However, Ant realized right away that he needed to ring the doorbell once more and pronounce the correct word, which had the neighbor exclaim, OS asterisk asterisk T. I apologize for any profanity from Mr. Stevenage there, Ant continued. Fortunately, the audience quickly noticed the humorous side of the mishap during a live presentation full of unexpected and hilarious moments. Naughty Ben using profanity. They apologize for using profanity and then make fun of his helmet being visible in Ring My Bell. Magnificent, they tweeted.